Hey guys, today I have a very interesting product to show you and it is this guy, the Suoki Portable Power Supply. This is the 400 watt hour unit. Some people call these solar generators, but I don't want to confuse anyone. This is not an internal combustion engine. There's no fossil fuels associated with this thing. Uh, no greenhouse gases are emitted. It's totally silent. It's basically a huge 120,000 milliamp hour lithium ion battery that's paired with an inverter and it produces both DC and AC power. Build quality, quite good. I mean, the case seems to be made of metal and some plastic. And on top, you have a nice integrated carry handle. Weighs just over 12 pounds. So just about anybody can pick this up and take it anywhere you need to go. You can take it out to the, the picnic table. You might not want to take it on a 10 mile hike, but uh, it's not too heavy and not unwieldy to move around. So what do you use this thing for? Well, you can use it to recharge all of your portable electronic devices. You can also use it to power small appliances rated at around 300 watts or below. More on that in a minute. I wanna show you the basic features of the device. On the left, we have power input and you can use these ports to recharge the internal battery. On the left is the solar port. They provide a solar cable and with an optional solar panel that is not included, you can use Mr. Sunshine to recharge your battery. So yes, the company does sell a solar panel that's not included with the battery. But fear not, because you can recharge this in other ways. Included is an AC adapter. So if you're on shore power, or if you already have a fossil fuel burning generator, you can plug that generator or that cable into this device and just recharge it using shore power. So you can use that at home or anytime you're at a campground and you have an electrical hookup. You can also recharge this using a car adapter. So you're riding down the highway, you can plug it into the cigarette lighter in your tow vehicle and your vehicle will recharge the battery as you're traveling on to your next campsite. Below those two ports is a third port for the included car jump starter cables. Plug those cables in, attach the alligator clamps to your dead car battery and you will have a jump start. So that's a nice feature. On the face of the unit, we have another nice feature of this model and that is an LCD display. It's a basic LCD display that shows you the condition of the battery on the left in 20% increments and you also have some digital readouts on the right that include the amount of wattage that's being input to the device. If you're solar charging or using AC current to charge it, you will see what kind of current you're getting into the battery. And you have uh, readouts for DC and AC current. So you'll see how much output is being consumed. And you can flip on your DC and your AC in the same fashion you turn on the device. Just hold these buttons for two seconds and they come on. To the right of the LCD display is the DC output port. You've got a good old fashioned cigarette lighter here. And you also have a couple of three amp, 12 volt outputs and four, count them, four USB ports. So here's where you can plug in your smartphones, your tablets, your cameras, and whatever else you carry with you out there on the road that needs to be recharged. On the right, of the device is the AC output area. We have two outlets. These are rated up to 300 watts of power. So if you have a small appliance, it could be a blender, it could be a slow cooker, it could be a television set, you can use this to power that appliance. If you want lights, uh, running out by your campsite, or if you're tailgating and you want to watch the ball game, yes, you can power your TV with this thing. In my mind, this does not replace a fossil fuel burning generator. It's a great companion to one. 
because there are a lot of times when you really don't want to crank a generator and run it to take care of certain tasks. It's overkill. And on those situations, I'd grab this. And I think this is a useful thing just to have around the house in case of power outage or what have you. So now we're gonna do a few tests. I'm gonna show you how this portable power supply will work with different devices and appliances. Obviously, you can plug in your tablets and cell phones and juice them up. That's not terribly exciting, is it? No. So why don't we try an air compressor? And this air compressor uses AC current. This thing is going to be extremely loud and noisy, so I'm not gonna talk while it's on, but let's check out the LCD display and see what happens. Success. So that's pretty cool. Uh, it obviously was pulling about 165, 166 watts, which is easily within the 300 watt capacity. So for our next test, we're gonna throw something that's pretty demanding at this little guy. And that is my wife's jet engine of a hairdryer. You know, at its full power setting, it will explode many gasoline power generators out there. So you have to be very careful handling this device. I think you really should register these things with the government because uh, it's super powerful. It's not really fair to attach this to this guy, but we're gonna do it and we're gonna see what happens. And what makes this a great test is that we have various settings on the hairdryer, okay? So we're gonna start out with cool air blowing low. Ready? Here we go. Ah. Feels good. It's working. So personally, I think this is pretty impressive because I know how powerful this beast of a hairdryer is. And, you know, in a pinch, with cool air set on low, it works. Now let's see how much power it's drawing. Can we come in tight and look at the LCD? So it's drawing uh, 151, 152 watts of power. So it's about the same really as the little air compressor. So I'm gonna put it on high. High fan, cool air. It's working. So that's pretty good. Let's see how much power it's pulling. Uh, 348 watts of power being pulled. And this thing is rated at 300 watts. So it's kind of at its max right now. So maybe that gives you an idea of what you can expect if you're attaching an appliance to this thing. All right, for our next test, we're gonna run it with low fan and we're gonna turn on some heat. We're gonna set it to warm and we'll see what happens. Okay, the fan just got really low and I don't know, it says it's drawing 267 watts, uh, but the fan has dwindled down to almost nothing. So that's not really that usable. So I'm gonna put it on a high fan and we'll see what happens. Ah, oh. so we just overloaded it. And we get an error message here, E14. You know, according to the wife, she very rarely actually uses high heat and she typically uses it on cool and warm with low fan, right? So actually, you can use the hair dryer with this thing, even though it's a super demanding appliance, uh, it worked. And of course, other appliances like crock pots and so forth demand much less power. If you are curious what you can power with this, I mean, there is a list, anything pretty much demanding 300 watts or less. Uh, you know, and, and for some people, they may not even need the big gasoline generator. They just need the occasional power supply. Sorry guys, that's the Suaki portable power supply. Personally, I think this is a really useful device to have because it's sort of an alternative to a fossil fuel burning generator. Full disclosure, uh, we have not been paid to do this video. However, Suaki sold us this unit at a very nice discount. If you are interested in reading reviews of this unit, 
please click the link in the YouTube description for this video. Uh, there'll be the usual affiliate links down below that go to support our show. I think it's great. This thing retails for about 400 bucks. It has a little brother that's a smaller unit that has a lot of the same features that retails for about 200 bucks. The smaller one, of course, would be lighter weight, more portable, just won't have quite the same capacity. And it's about half the price. Click the links, check it out, see what you think. Until next time, I am Sean. This is Long Long Honeymoon. It's hot out here, but we will say lo lo ho anyway. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you disliked it, give it a thumbs down. Feel free to leave a comment. And of course, don't forget to subscribe. The Suoki, 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 Suoki. The Suoki, the Suoki portable sub. Swaoki Solar Portable Power Supply.